Who's a good boy? Hey guys, this is Red Dog Props. Welcome back to the second part of the scratch building of the Millennium Falcon. Also, we're going to finish painting this guy today. Let's get to it. So let's get back into this build. Uh, so naturally we're going to use some swizzle sticks to finish the subspace hyperdrive parts. There are some exercise blocks made of EVA foam that have a pretty neat texture on them already. Spark plugs have a neat design and they look like greeblies that were made for the Falcon. At this point I was frustrated with all the paneling so I did a little venting. And now we will assemble a ton of greeblies. And this apparently is Greebly City. If two spark plugs are good, four must be better. I've been looking at these greebly so long, I think they're starting to look back.
and adding battle damage is usually one of my favorite parts. I made a couple of large pre-assembled Greeblies for the concussion missile tube area. This is the front of the mandible and of course there are more Greeblies there. And of course the cockpit has more panels. And the dish has more panels. Placing random little rectangles all over the hull of the Millennium Falcon was kind of satisfying. In this part, I bend some 2.5 millimeter armature wire for the pipes on the Millennium Falcon. And you never know when a squirt gun will come in handy. Looking closer, you'll see that printer buttons and a water bottle cap was used for Greeblies here. Star Wars has some pretty specific shapes for their doors. Now I'll add a couple coats of Plasti Dip to help the acrylic paint that I use stick better. And I'll use an old worn out watercolor brush to apply a couple coats of gray. At this point we'll start adding some of the actual color of some of the red and yellow and gray panels.
Millennium Falcon has tons of small decals all over it, so I'm going to fake some painting of these decals all over the place. At this point, it's uh, just more dirty washes and weathering. And I was always trying to come up with some jokes about Star Wars, but it was a little tricky. They always seemed a little forced. So this is my first time using an airbrush, so I practiced a little while before actually putting paint onto the Millennium Falcon. Here I used a clear gloss varnish to make some of the uh, windows a little more shiny. And then I played around in Photoshop for some beauty shots. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.